if you divide people, if you decide, okay, you'll be here and you'll be here, neither side, especially in this volatile conflict, will be uh, you know, content with what they've got. Dividing people only creates further divides and further divides and further conflict. And really, what we need is equal rights. We need people to integrate together and work together, especially as time goes on, as younger Israelis and younger Palestinians grow tired of their situation and the old prejudices are lost. More and more people, as I've said before, are ready to integrate and get this peaceful solution sorted. So recent polls, uh, an example of which is the New York Times, where there have been multiple, suggest that globally, especially American and in Israel and Palestine themselves, support for the one-state solution is growing simply because people are seeing that the two-state solution that's been put forward time and time again is just not realistically likely to happen. I don't, you seem to be suggesting that Muslims and Jews, in this case Israelis and Palestinians, cannot live together, that they're completely and irrevocably incompatible, which I think is just entirely pessimistic and completely uh, insulting to both peoples. In it, it, it's just not practical. I mean, you're going to create a single Israeli-Palestinian state united. And, I mean, just look at the past 70 years of history. I mean, it's all very well they're going to, to say they're going to live happily ever after these Arab speakers and these Hebrew speakers who don't really speak each other's languages, they're going to get on beautifully because that's what they've done for the past 70 years. Uh, if we're going to have a democratic state, which presumably is what the proposition are suggesting, it would have a Palestinian majority which is going to get considerable opposition from Israeli uh, groups who believe that the Jews should have their own homeland. Um, another point, I think you said something about the Oslo Accords. Um, that's over 25 years ago now. I think you said that they're making slow steps towards a two-state solution. Well, I mean, it's 25 years. I mean, I don't really see much progress there. The huge issues between Northern Ireland and Ireland, um, you know, the fact that they're two separate states, two separate identities, there's friction between them. Actually, most of the friction is when you've got two separate groups of people with two separate identities bunged them together in the same state in Northern Ireland. We went to Ireland, we went to the border. The border's actually all right now. We went into Northern Ireland, which you're kind of proposing is a model for the fantastic future we can envision for Palestine and Israel. The walls in the middle of Belfast close at seven o'clock every single night. And your point was that this is the model. This is what we want, these two groups who disagree with each other. And if you merge the two states, it's not suddenly gonna become totally equal between these two groups. The Israelis are gonna have far more power. And if you think they're gonna suddenly open the floodgates and let in over 7 million Palestinian refugees who even now live just outside the borders. None of the Israelis are going to want this to happen.